everyone! Welcome to Eat Me Recipes! Today I'll be showing you how to make an instant pot cults curry, which is also known as fresh chicken in South Africa. The ingredients for this recipe is in the description box below, and there you will also find a link for the full written step-by-step -step recipe, which is on eatmerecipes.co.za. Firstly, you want to peel and chop the onions. Rinse and blend the tomato. Rinse and slit the green chilies. Peel and cut the potatoes into quarters. You can cover the potatoes with water to prevent them from oxidizing. The cows usually come with other parts of the chicken, such as the egg bag, so you want to rinse this and set it aside until ready to use. The cows also come with the chicken feet, and as you can see, they have quite long nails on them. Place the feet on a chopping board and use a sharp knife to cut off the ends of each joint, removing the tips. Thereafter, you can rinse and clean the cowls, and you can also place the feet into the bowl. Next, you want to bring out the Instant Pot and open up the lid. Press the sauté button on the Instant Pot and press on it again until the heat level is at normal. Next, you want to pour the vegetable oil into the inner stainless steel pot. Add in the chopped onions. Add in the slit green chilies. Add in thyme, star aniseed, cinnamon sticks, bay leaves, fennel or som seeds, and cumin or jeera seeds. Give it a good mix. Allow to sauté until the onions are translucent. Once the onions are translucent, add in turmeric powder, garam masala, cumin or jeera powder, coriander or dhania powder, cardamom or ilachi powder, red chilli flakes, chilli powder or masala, and ginger and garlic paste. Mix well. Thereafter, add in the cows. Add salt to taste. Mix well, allowing the cults to coat in the spices. Cover the instant pot with a lid and allow the chicken to seal in the spices for 10 minutes. I do not have an instant pot lid, so I used the lid that I had on hand. After 10 minutes, the chicken should be nicely coated in the spices. 
give it a quick stir. Thereafter, add in the blended tomatoes, add in curry leaves, and some freshly chopped coriander or dania. Pour in some boiling water. Mix until everything is well combined. Thereafter, you want to press cancel on your Instant Pot. Secure the lid on the Instant Pot. Turn the anti-blockage vent or steam release handle to ceiling. Press the pressure cook button and press the button again to set the pressure level to more on the display. Next, you can use the plus or minus buttons and set the cooking time for 40 minutes. I prefer my cult semi-soft, so the times really depend on how soft you want it to be. If you do set the time to 50 minutes, the curls will be falling off the bone. Once the timer goes off, you should have this display. You want to go ahead and press the cancel button. Turn the anti-blockage vent or steam release handle to venting and allow the steam to release. Once the float valve sinks in, it is safe to open the lid. Give the curry a mix. When you poke into the chicken with a knife, it should easily go through. Press the saute button on the instant pot and press on it again until the heat level is at normal. Next, you want to add in the potatoes and make sure to discard off the water that it had been resting in. Mix well and tuck the potatoes under the gravy. Cover the instant pot with a lid and allow the potatoes to cook until almost soft. When the potatoes are almost soft, you can add in the eggs. Gently push the eggs into the gravy and cook until the potatoes are soft, as the eggs don't take too long to cook through. Once everything is cooked, you can press cancel on your Instant Pot. Empty the curry out into a serving bowl. Garnish with freshly chopped coriander or dania. This Instant Pot Carl's curry is ready to be served. You can serve this curry with rice, bread, puris or rotis. Just a quick reminder, the quantities are in the description box below and there you will also find the direct link for the full written recipe which is on eatmerecipes.co.za.
I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also drop some recipe requests in the comment section and I will try to do those recipes as soon as I can. Enjoy!